a chess classic where he managed to check, well, not checkmate, but uh, it was because of checkmating ideas. Yeah. But okay, the game has kicked off and uh, we are going to see the Queen's pawn opening. What I love about uh, Levon Aronian, especially when they he meets uh, Magnus Carlsen, is he plays in a very classical style and it's a style that I simply appreciate because it's just uh, very harmonious. And, uh, okay. Okay, we do see the London system, one of the most popular openings in chess these days. Uh, that is characterized by White developing his bishop to this square. Very active diagonal. Um, it does tend to lead to maybe quieter uh, play, or that was that was the thinking until the last few years when players such as Magnus Carlsen, Alexander Grishuk and a few others, they did stumble across the fact that White does have some very dynamic possibilities later in the game. This opening the London system, it also brought Levon Aronian uh, a relative amount of success against Magnus Carlsen in that previous tournament in the New Chess Classic. And okay, Magnus challenging the centre, White uh, as black, just pushing forward with the board, White just solidifying his centre and now developing the knight. And these players, they've debated this exact position, this exact opening before several times, even with reverse colours. I've seen them face off in this opening, so both players opening experts here. Magnus, what approach will he go for? Will he try and find something solid? Will he try and find something maybe a bit more challenging against Aronian, who doesn't seem to be in the best of form? Yeah, well, uh, of course, variations in the uh, London system. Um, if he wants a quieter game, he's going to take the pawn. Uh, okay, well, well, quieter, that's not quite true. <laughs> but okay, he's taken the pawn in the centre, and uh, I have to say, whenever I've kind of studied... Um, the London system. One of my role models in this particular variation from the white side is Magnus Carlsen. Yeah, that's right. Magnus wants a very instructive game against Aronian from this position. So this time they've reversed colours and uh, what will Magnus come up with? Sometimes that's a bit of a problem in the opening. If you really like one side's chances, it's hard to play the other side. And here Magnus, he does bring the Black Queen out. That Black Queen actually eyes up one uh, undefended pawn out there on the left flank and also it helps to attack.
actually is that uh, Black's rook is stuck behind uh, a pawn, and uh, now we see Levon Aronian has pushed a pawn forward, and instantly Magnus retreated the rook to attack the pawn. So, uh, what would you do here, David? Would you simplify the position into rook pawn endgame, or would you just hold on to? White's biggest asset. Uh, it's difficult to say. Um, I'd be tempted to hold on to that pawn. That pawn, it doesn't, this far advanced pawn, it does keep one of Black's rooks very passive, so you could just slide across. Uh, but okay, he does go for the other option you mentioned. He offers a trade of rooks. And uh, Levon Aroni, he's just trying to ease his task. And uh, I, I don't think there's a way for Black to win a pawn without giving back another pawn. So if, for example, Black captures that pawn right now, White's pawn on the d6 square, that very far advanced pawn. If Black takes it, we'll see a trade of rooks. Um, yep. We're going to see this on the board. White's going to take off one of Black's pawns there on the left, so he's got a two versus one advantage on both sides of the board. And one of those <laughs> one of those sides of the board, he will be able to create a pass pawn with... Uh, well, he should be able to win that. Actually, so White's king now going towards the centre, just giving up pawn on that right side, but Levon's backing everything on his other pawns on the left flank. Wow. He doesn't have too much time, though. Is that a problem? Potentially, yes. It is going to come down to a race. It's going to be a race, uh, a board race. And it's all about calculation there. You do need an extra 30 seconds. You do, do need an extra minute to just to, to kind of double check your calculations. But um, it does look like it's pretty straightforward so far for Aronian. Black has a pass board now. White's given up his extra two pawns, actually. But White's King is so active. And uh, White's two pawns on that left flank. At least one of them is likely to become a queen, if not both. I mean, one, one thing I also have to say is that uh, Levon Aronian isn't particularly scared of uh, Black's past pawn there on the right side. And the reason why is because if the worst comes to the worst, 